Hey everyone and welcome back. If you've got a Fire TV, you've probably heard the rumours. Amazon is cracking down on third-party streaming apps, but it's not because they're streaming apps. It's because some of them are loaded with malware, trojans and other nasty surprises that can quietly run in the background without you even knowing. This isn't just a problem for one or two apps, it could be happening on your device right now. So today I'm going to show you exactly how to fight back. We'll use two free and powerful tools that can scan your Fire Stick, uncover hidden threats and help you clean them out for good. We're going to use two of the most effective scanners out there, DefSquid and VirusTotal. Both are excellent for detecting malware, but they have slightly different strengths and limitations. And this video will help you understand the differences between them. DefSquid is an all-in-one optimizer. It scans for malware, but it also cleans junk files, boosts your device and frees up RAM. Virus Total is a dedicated scanner. It uses over 70 different virus engines to give you a detailed report, making it incredibly comprehensive. Let's get them installed. For DefSquid, it's super simple. Go to the magnifying glass icon on your Fire TV home screen. Type in DEF Squid and select it from the search results. Click and install it. For Virus Total, you'll need to install the Downloader app. Once installed, make sure that Downloader has the correct permission to install apps for you. Go to Settings, My Fire TV, Developer Options, Install Unknown Apps, and then find Downloader in the list and select it to turn the permission on. Open the Downloader app, then type the short code 28907 and hit go. Wait for the page to load, then choose the antivirus and cleaners category. Find virus total in the list and select it. Then on the next screen, tap down until you see a blue download button for Fire TV and Android devices that looks like this. Follow the on-screen prompts to download and install the app. If you get any connection problems when downloading the app, try clicking the backup download link instead. Now that we have our apps, let's run the scan. Starting off with DefSquid, open the app and choose Malware Scan. Then click the Start Deep Scan option. Let it run and it will give you a list of apps it finds as probably harmless or probably malicious. Now let's run Virus Total. When you open this app, click on Scan and let it do its thing. It will show you a check mark for clean apps and a red flag for any it detects as a problem. Now, just a few side notes about Virus Total. First, it won't work if you're hardwired to the internet. It will only work if you're connected via Wi Fi. And secondly, this is a mobile version of the app. And for that reason, you won't be able to perfectly navigate it with the Fire Stick remote. However, you can easily pair a cheap Bluetooth mouse. And I'll put a link to my recommended Bluetooth mouse in the description and pinned comment below. Okay, so now the scans are done, how do you interpret the results? 
Here's where most people get confused. Just because something gets flagged doesn't always mean it's truly dangerous. So let's look at some examples. In my scans, Blink Streams was flagged by both apps. Now this is a third party live TV app that Amazon has recently targeted and blocked as being malicious. And these results confirm why. Def Squid has placed it in the probably malicious category and VirusTotal has flagged it with a red cross, which is a strong indicator of risk. Now, while Def Squid doesn't give us much more to go on, VirusTotal allows us to dig deeper. It shows that out of 77 different virus checking agents, 21 of them have identified something suspicious. Now, using a Bluetooth mouse, you can click on the app to see the full report. When we look at the Reports tab, you can see that numerous agents have identified it as a risk, with some even flagging Trojans. This is often because these types of apps contain hidden code, such as residential proxy servers. This means the app is using your Fire Stick's internet connection and IP address to route traffic for other people without your knowledge, essentially turning your device into part of a wider network that could be used for malicious purposes. And that's the exact reason why Amazon is removing them from devices, because they can be harmful in this way. For this app and similar ones, it is highly recommended to uninstall and stop using them immediately. Now let's look at another example. DevSquid flagged five more apps as probably malicious, but VirusTotal only flagged one of them as potentially unsafe with a yellow explanation mark. Now, the rest have a green check mark, meaning they're considered safe. Let's dive deeper with VirusTotal into that single app it's suspicious of. Now, here we can see that only one of the 77 virus checking engines flagged a possible Trojan. We can also see that this app uses its own ad library. This isn't necessarily a risk, but it's something many users don't like. And why? Well, it's because these ad libraries can collect a surprising amount of your data, your IP address, device information, and even what other apps you have installed, all to serve you targeted ads. So for this app, it's up to you if you want to keep it. The risk is low, but you should be aware of what it's doing. Now let's address the remaining four apps that DevSquid identified as probably malicious, but VirusTotal marked as completely clean, indicated with a green check mark. What is the deal here? Are these apps actually safe? The short answer is yes, they are likely to be safe, but you should still be aware of the difference. The reason for the discrepancy is how each scanner operates. Now, DevSquid's approach is more defensive. It's designed to be cautious. It flags anything with a potentially suspicious pattern, even if it's not a known threat. VirusTotal, on the other hand, is a more precise tool. While it has marked these apps as clean, if you dive into the report, you might see that a few of its 77 engines still detected something. It's a low risk situation, but if you look closer, the red flags are often tied back to those same ad libraries we discussed earlier. So while these apps aren't installing malware or hijacking your device, they are still using code that a scanner sees as aggressive or invasive due to its data collection practices. This is a perfect example of why you shouldn't just trust a single scanner. You need to understand the nuances of these results. These apps are generally safe to keep installed, but you should do so with the awareness of what they're doing in the background. And there you have it. Now you have the tools and the knowledge to protect your Fire TV device. You know how to run a scan, how to interpret the results, 
and what to do with the apps you find. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your tech friends, subscribe for more tips, and let me know in the comments if you found anything surprising on your device. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.